Calling all parents and teachers. It's time to rep Kid News and check out some partner brands and products we think you're going to love. Since it's an election year, how about a kid's book on voting? Or colorful ideas for a spring refresh of that messy homework desk. Plus, there's always fun Kid News swag. Moms, dads, guardians, and teachers, go to starglowmedia.com shop to check it all out. If you're listening on a podcast platform, you can also find the store link in the description for today's episode. And don't forget, subscribe to Starglow Plus to skip the ads on all your favorite Starglow podcasts. Happy listening! Good morning and welcome to Kid News. I'm Tori. Today is Tuesday, May 28th, 2024. And we begin with travelers over this Memorial Day weekend setting a new daily record. Nearly 3 million passengers were screened at airports on Friday, according to the Transportation Security Agency. That beat the previous single-day record set last November during the Thanksgiving holiday rush. TSA estimates over 18 million airline passengers went through security checkpoints between Thursday and Sunday, though many experienced delays due to stormy weather. As for driving, AAA predicted that 38.5 million people hit the roads over the long weekend, with a spokeswoman telling NPR it's the highest number for this holiday since the agency began tracking in 2000. Calling someone a bird brain may not be that insulting after all. A new study by neurobiologists in Germany has made an exciting discovery. The experiment showed for the first time that an animal, other than a human, could connect the image of a number with its value. So after months of patient training, if a crow was shown the number three, it knew to make a caw sound three times. Previous research has shown crows, monkeys, rats, and other animals have some basic math skills, but this test takes it to a different level. Diane Lau, the head scientist, tells Popular Science she plans to conduct additional experiments as part of a quest to uncover the evolutionary origins of humans' mathematical ability and to learn how different brains come up with similar behaviors. Closing arguments are scheduled to begin today in the hush money trial of Donald Trump. The former president is accused of falsifying business records to hide payments he allegedly made to keep an embarrassing story from going public just before the 2016 election. The case began six weeks ago in a New York City courtroom, and it's a big deal as no former U.S. president has ever faced criminal prosecution. Mr. Trump's lawyers will present their summary of the case first, followed by prosecutors. Then the judge will give the 12-member jury a lengthy set of instructions before they begin deliberations, most likely tomorrow. How long it takes to reach a verdict and whether he's found innocent or guilty is anyone's guess. With summer just around the corner, it's a popular time to get out and explore the great outdoors. But that can be difficult for people with mobility challenges. So one of the country's most visited national parks is providing options to encourage everyone to move beyond the pavement. The Great Smoky Mountains National Park launched three adaptive outings last year that were so successful, this summer they're offering seven starting next month. Some of the special equipment available include three-wheel off-road trikes for someone with balance issues, hand cycle mountain bikes for cyclists without leg mobility, and kayaks with outriggers to prevent tipping. A director at the Christopher and Dana Reeve Foundation tells the Washington Post that by offering these kinds of programs, this park is really making sure that everybody in the community has an opportunity to participate, enjoy nature, and be active. In sports news, Joseph Newgarden won the Indianapolis 500, becoming the first race car driver to have back-to-back wins there in 22 years. He managed to pass Pato Award on the final lap of Sunday's rain-delayed race, and after crossing the finish line, Newgarden climbed through a hole in the fence to celebrate with fans in the grandstands. It was a big comeback for the 33-year-old from Tennessee, whose season-opening victory was disqualified last month. Apparently, his team used illegal software in its cars that gave the drivers additional horsepower. But Newgarden tells NBC News he was thrilled with his latest win and happy to put the scandal behind him. Coming up, why Hollywood has to bank on a summer of sequels. But first, our Kid News Quiz. The TSA estimates how many people flew on the Friday of Memorial Day weekend. 
nearly 3 million, a new single-day record. A recent experiment showed which kind of animal could recognize numbers. Crows. Which national park has organized outings for those with mobility challenges? The Great Smoky Mountains National Park. Who won the Indianapolis 500? Joseph Newgarden. In our Kid News Kicker, now that Memorial Day is behind us, we're officially in the summer movie season, which lasts through Labor Day. And last year's big hits, Barbie and Oppenheimer, showed that audiences were ready for fresh new stories. But instead, on the docket this summer are a bunch of sequels, including Despicable Me 4, Deadpool and Wolverine, and Furiosa, a Mad Max saga, which debuted this weekend with dismal ticket sales. However, Hollywood isn't just ignoring fans. Movies take years to produce under the best of times, and studios have been especially bogged down due to the pandemic and last year's strikes by writers and actors. Patrick Whitesell, a top talent agent, tells The Wall Street Journal, I think the studios know they have to take bold, big swings, but it takes some time to transition to that approach. Before we go, a programming note. As we get ready to wind down the school year, please note we probably won't get to all the teachers who submitted shout-out requests. The list fills up quickly, usually just a few weeks after it opens. We'll start a new round of sign-ups in mid-August for the next school year, so keep an ear on the podcast and an eye on the website and jump in the queue as soon as you can. And now, thanks to some of the wonderful classrooms waiting patiently to hear their names, Ms. Arnett and her Monarchs at Tuckahoe in Arlington, Virginia, the Parks Family Homeschool in Delray Beach, Florida, Mrs. Z and her All-Stars at Appleview in Sparta, Michigan, and Mrs. Osborne and her Panthers at Fulton in O'Fallon, Illinois. Thanks for listening. If you'd like a personal shout out to wish someone a happy birthday, congrats on graduation, or thanks for a great school year, please consider sponsoring our ever popular quiz. Find more information on our website, kidnews.org. We hope you tune in for more Kid News tomorrow morning.